Here I have some lanthanum metal. And lanthanum reacts with air to make lanthanum oxide. And it just degrades in air. And even in oil it degrades. Here's the inside of the bottle. You can see it's all cloudy because of the oxide. But as soon as I take it out of here and expose it to air, it's kind of hard to do. Okay, there we go. Here's one piece of lanthanum. This piece of lanthanum kind of looks bluish and kind of has a slight uh, dark tint to it. We're going to try cutting it. You can see, look how shiny that is. You see the shiny metal on the inside. It really will not stay that way. I'll cut some more pieces for you so you can take a closer look at it. It's not easy to cut, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay, I got some more pieces off. And you see that really shiny metal. It's not going to stay that way. After a couple days, it will oxidize. Okay. Yep, it's a pretty soft metal. You can break pieces off pretty easily and even cut it like I was just showing you. All right, guys, so here's a piece of lanthanum after about three minutes of being cut. And I'm gonna record a time lapse of it being cut. All right, guys, so here it is one hour later. You can see it's still shiny. This is because the reaction takes a couple days. I started recording the time lapse this time at 8.30 and ended at 9.42 in the afternoon. So that was one hour long. So specifically 72 minutes. So the hardness of lanthanum resembles zinc. This is why it's pretty easy to cut it. Not that easy, but you'll eventually get used to it if you use something else rather than a knife like that. All right, guys, so here it is the next day. I just got out of bed. It's 9.29 in the morning and you can see some minor changes. You can see some oxide powder on it. Here it is at 9.17 in the morning, and you can see the spot where I cut it is no longer shiny.